Congress parties engage in data collection, invisibly, without notification, really important, or it can be somewhere in the general terms and conditions, but this is not always the case if you're not the user, and it's out of your control. What is going on? It's uh, caught quite well in this cartoon. It's about making business decisions. The capitalist view has come along for a couple of times already, and we make a decision, okay, how can we make money? We can collect data. What would you do? Okay, I have to think about right or wrong. Okay, that will take a week or month. This is the technical part. Well, uh, probably for quite some people here, this is familiar stuff. This is what a web interaction is, basically. It starts with your browser on your home PC, and there's a server with a web page hosted on it. If you want to visit the web page, you type in the URL, and then there's a request going to the server, and there's a response displaying it on your browser screen. And at that moment, there's one log entry created on the server of the hosting party. It's the most basic way of web interaction. Usually, or always probably, web pages exist from several parts. So there's not only just the page, but there's also a number of images, or plugins, or whatever. And every single part is requested separately. So if you have this from the same web server again, there's three logs because there's three requests and three responses. Which usually is not just one party, because it can be the one having the web page, it can be uh, a plugin from uh, Google Maps to have a route description to your company. Uh, it can be something from Facebook because it can like your company, because that's really an incentive from the economic perspective. And then you have three parties involved, because Google is providing the maps, Facebook is providing the like button, and you yourself are providing your web page. And the next step is that with the uh, response sent, there's a cookie issued. Does everyone know what a cookie is? I hope so. Anyone who doesn't? Try it. For those who don't care, it's just a small text file and it's placed on your computer and it's read every time that you're connecting with the server from whom it's uh, coming. So this is essential. An example was the Facebook case, and this was the paper that uh, Monica was mentioning. It's available online for those who want to read and who want to read the technical details. I wrote this uh, in the end of 2010 and it had quite some impact. Uh, worldwide and even made Facebook change their systems. So there was real impact for all internet users basically. So that was an achievement. And it was about Facebook and cookies, tracking cookies. Um, what was going on was that uh, Facebook Connect, and now it's called Facebook for Websites, is the, uh, the application with which you can log in with your Facebook account to other services. If you were visiting any web page which had this implemented, you were receiving a tracking cookie. Regardless of whether you were clicking on it, using it, regardless of whether you were a user of Facebook or not. So it basically was applicable for every internet user worldwide. 